So we've sectioned the hair off. We've taken a teardrop section from the temples back into sort of a point, but it's a, it's a rounded point rather than a sharp point. Now there's no right or wrong place to ever start a haircut, but I'm gonna start mine on the side. Again, doesn't matter which side you start. Nice clean sections. And again, this is the sort of haircut that you can do with a razor. It works very well with a razor and you do get a lovely effect with it. We're gonna take our section out. Now, you, again, you can cut in a baseline here if you want. Um, take off some of the length. It doesn't bother me, but some people are having so much length, it does sort of bother them. So as you can see, we're pulling it out and we're now gonna elevate our fingers. And again, you could slide cut, you can point cut. I'm just blunt cutting here. Okay, and then obviously, we're gonna take our next section. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna over direct all of these sections to this front guide section. And why are we doing that? Well, we're doing that so that we gradually, as we come back to the ear, are building up a slow amount of weight so that there's not a massive jump, a massive disconnection when we get there. Some people don't mind a massive jump, a massive disconnection, and you know, I'm quite happy to do another haircut and and show different types because there are, like anything, there are lots of different ways of doing things and you get different styles. So nice clean sections, and as you can see, just over directing everything forward, elevating it and following our guide. One more sections, you can see that we're nice and short and then we've got some, then we've got plenty of length left that we can play around with at the end. Now this will be the last section behind the ear and I'll show you why. The hair density in front of the ear is less than now the hair density behind the ear. And by over directing all of this forward, we're gonna have a nice gradual and connection to the haircut rather than cutting it all short and having a sudden disconnection. Okay, so as you can see, nice and choppy, nice short layer around that front and a nice bit of length and texture. Now again, at the back, what you could do is you could drag, if you take a center part in at the back, you could over direct all of this to the ear. You could over direct it all to the front point like you have been previously. However, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of my last section as a guide. I'm gonna get rid of everything in front of the ear now. And then I'm gonna take my section from behind the ear. I'm gonna over direct now back to the previous section. So this section will go back to the ear. The next section will go back to this section and so on. So again, I'm just creating a gradual blend of the layer, but again, bringing it out and elevating it just to find my guide. Okay, so now we're gonna half this section, get that out of the way and continue with this section back to that. And we're just gonna work our way round to the middle. Find my guide. Elevate. And of course, depending on how long you want to keep the perimeters of the haircut, you can elevate your fingers more or elevate the section more as well. Okay, so. That's our first side done. So as you can see, we've got a nice bit of texture going through. We've got our length. I can already sort of see where I'm gonna take out a bit of weight going through. So lovely, we're getting there, awesome. Okay, so obviously we just have to repeat this now on the opposite side. Now we've got the sides and we're gonna move on to the fringe because the fringe is gonna dictate the length that we get on the top. So I've taken out my fringe from, from the corner of the eyebrow to the corner of the eyebrow. And I'm gonna take my section down through the middle. So I'm gonna elevate this up and I'm bringing it out to 90 to the head, okay? And then I'm point cutting. Then I'm gonna take from my center point of the fringe, I'm gonna take an orange segment and I'm just gonna over direct it back to that central point 
pulling it to 90, just so I've got a bit of a blend. And I'm gonna half that, and I'm gonna bring my final section and over direct my final section back in. I, I really like over directing back to a previous section. It really does help with a nice, smooth, clean blend. You know, if ever I'm in doubt, if ever I'm trying something out, I always start at that point. We're gonna repeat that on the other side. There we have our fringe. This point here has dictated the length that we're gonna get on the top. So now I'm gonna take my section right down the middle. Also, if you like the color that's done on this, I'll connect the video in the description down below. There's a video of me doing the color. So now we're gonna follow this around. We're gonna do basically a uniform layer or pulling out 90 to the head. And again, you can blunt cut this, you can point cut it, you could razor it. So once I've hit my back layer, I'm just going to stop. Obviously now we've got our guide running down through the middle. So I'm going to come back now to my front and I'm going to work my way back just through this front area. You may have noticed I was blunt cutting on the top. It's just my sort of preferred. But obviously through here where we've got the fringe, I'm just point cutting. But of course, how you personalize it chop into it, texturize it, razor it at the end, really does make it. Okay, so we're just working our way all the way through. And then obviously we'll do exactly the same Again, you can see I, I sort of switch between my blunt cut and my point cut hitting this back piece can just point cut and blend it in doesn't have to totally connect same on the other side and then we can dry it okay so there you go and i'm now just going to put in actually a little bit of dry shampoo just to add a little bit of hold and, and try and keep some of this texture i'm liking the texture going on the next step is about personalizing it. Are you gonna leave these front bits? Are you gonna cut them off? Are you gonna take some of the length off? Are you gonna chip into it more? This is where you add your touch. What you do is entirely up to you. The fringes behave very well as well. I'm quite impressed that the fringe on the head block hasn't sort of stuck straight out from the head. So thumbs up on that one for me. So now I'm just gonna finish it off and show you the end result. 